So my original idea, I wanted to go to PX Moth and show that like in Taiwan you can buy everything, like no one is hoarding toilet paper. But the thing is that yesterday Taiwan got a lot of new cases, like 40 or 50 cases. So people also here now are starting to hoarding and buy a lot of toilet paper. So as you can see, a lot, a lot of the instant noodles, they bought a lot of the instant noodle, but the good thing of being a foreigner in Taiwan is that you can always buy pasta, you know, this is the last thing that disappears, so I can still, I can survive on pasta for a while, you know. At least we can still buy potatoes, so I think there is no, no need to panic yet. A package of, of tissue like this contains a 120 tissue and even if you take a shit two times per day and you use uh, two, two tissue every time it's gonna last you 30 days, it's gonna last you one month, you know. Two times? Do you want for every two times? You only need two tissue, no? No! <laughs> How many you need then? <laughs> okay, okay, that explains why we are using so much toilet paper. Okay, so even if you are using four tissues, you know, when you go to the toilet still, this is gonna last you about two weeks per person for this one so i don't know why people are buying so so much tissue and i think in the end you know everyone's just gonna end up with a lot a lot of toilet papers in their house as some of you know europe is now closing down its border since there is no direct flight from taiwan to sweden it means that I'm kind of stuck in Taiwan, it's kind of impossible for me to go back to Sweden and also I don't want to change the flight in France or Germany because they got a lot of cases there and I am not even sure if they would allow me to change the flight there. Anyway at the moment of course I'd rather stay in Taiwan because the situation is a lot better here like one week ago I would say the situation is really really great but this week actually Taiwan also got a lot of new cases but it seems really mostly to be still imported cases or Taiwanese who are coming back to Taiwan so like the widespread in the society Society still doesn't seem to exist in Taiwan. Of course, I would also love to go back to have my parents and have my family back in Sweden to have my grandma, you know, but at this moment I feel I am just another person who can bring the virus around the world. And the other problem is, you know, if I go back to Sweden, there's no chance for Charlie to follow because even I have the marriage visa to be here, but she don't have the visa in Sweden, so she can only go there on a tourist visa. Now border is closed, of course she cannot go there, and if I go there, who knows when I can come back to Taiwan again, you know, so it's kind of like a really uh, weird situation. Okay, so lately we are, have a little bit too few masks, so we are gonna go to line up now to get some new masks, and today is a Saturday, it's the right day, but I'm a little bit afraid that the queue maybe is like really, really long now. Okay, so it's three o'clock now. So the queue is starting to move, actually it's quite many people ahead of us and we checked the app and it says that they have 300 masks today. I think it's less than 100 people in front of us. So you get the face mask in an envelope that looks like this. It says something in Chinese here that I, I don't understand. <laughs> And the other side of the envelope is empty and inside you will have the three, three face masks. It looks like this. The biggest difference I see in how Taiwan and Sweden is acting is that Taiwan is very, very proactive. Like for example, right now a lot of Taiwanese are coming back from abroad, from the US and from the Europe, and some of them are bringing the coronavirus back to Taiwan. So the government in Taiwan now say that the next 14 days is very, very crucial. And the people here all wear a face mask, try to avoid restaurants, avoid social gatherings. While in Sweden already the situation is much worse, but the government, I feel, uh, is much, they are waiting much longer to 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 act you know for example still people are going to the north of Sweden where a lot of people go skiing and after they go skiing they go to the bars there and drink beer together and only the government say like maybe it's not so good that you do this but still a lot of Swedes are still doing this so I think uh, there's still Sweden is still like some some step behind Taiwan when it comes to to acting of course I'm just a youtuber so I cannot give you any revolutionary information on when this pandemic is going to be over I can just say that we are doing our best to do the things that everyone can do such as 
make sure that you have face masks at home and always wear the face mask when you go to a crowded place or just MRT. Make sure that you always wash your hands very thoroughly as often as you can. If possible, try to avoid crowded places such as hospitals. This is the first chance in our life you know, where we can do something really important by just staying at home. So I think everyone should try to take this opportunity if it's possible for you. And also that try as good as you can to stay healthy because the pressure on the hospitals, especially in Sweden, you know, is getting bigger and bigger now. Finally, I want to say that it's, uh, it feels like it's a little bit easy to get, get panicked now because you know the news are reporting 50 new cases and 100 new cases and when you hear this you just want to go out and buy toilet paper and instant noodle and people in Sweden they are buying so much potatoes right I now. think also it's very important to remember that in six months or in one year you know even if though the situation is getting serious especially in Europe it's getting very serious but in six months or in one year we are going to get through this pandemic and I hope that everyone can continue continue to do in their part. I think especially in Taiwan, people are doing a very good job here and also in Sweden, people now are, are starting to do better. So uh, yeah, I hope we can continue to learn from each other. Thank you so much for watching today. I will see you all next time. Bye bye.